Welcome back everyone! 2020, another year of fabulous hair, makeup and beauty tips and hopefully great conversation down below as well. Um, my hair is a bit, well it looks a bit odd only because I've just been using this um, Lifesaver pre-wash treatment um, and I was testing it actually for the Marie Claire Beauty Awards and they got to sleep in it um, and I was like, oh I, I just don't want to be sleeping in any product. But it's quite amazing because it's a well I'll show you it's a cream it's a cream um, like that and you just put it in but it just literally dries as it says it does um, and you can leave it on all night preferably or for a few hours but because I'm in the office today I just thought I'd um, leave it in my hair it actually leaves quite a nice texture in it doesn't it my hair is so thirsty as is my skin my face and body as well so been lathering up I hope you had a lovely Christmas New Year holiday I hope you're feeling fresh and revived and if you're not like me just uh, pretend that we are right woohoo lots of train noises as my husband would say stop making your train noises a few little tips that I wanted to share with you just to give you a boost if you're feeling like me a couple of things that I've been doing over the holidays that I've been absolutely loving this Elemis rose cleansing balm well used well loved it's so lovely um, but in the morning, I've been putting that on and rather than using my flannel, I've been continuing to use the Foreo. But when I was using this in the summer, I was using it with the salicylic um, CeraVe um, because my skin was a little bit congested. But I just wanted to share with you that using a cleansing balm and an oil and the Foreo, I won't turn it on, so I'll just keep buzzing. You can kind of set it up with your phone and do um, the amount of time that you want and the intensity you want, all bespoke. I just did it for a minute. And it is so nice and it's it's really really revived my skin and kept it going but it just feels really nice so it increases the circulation and the hydration so that's my little morning tip okay really really lovely deep cleansing i've been using a lovely brand called evolve organic beauty and this is a super super lovely hyaluronic um, gel as you can see i say gel it's a serum but it's it's not liquidy you know how sometimes the hyaluronics can be sort of quite liquidy this really feels that it's going into the skin and plumping my skin um, and it's really cooling and it's just a really beautiful, beautiful product. It's a lovely brand actually, if you like organic beauty products. So that's been really nice. Another product that actually I did a launch with at the end of last year, I'm not sure whether I got to tell you about it, is Herbal Essentials. Now this is a brand you can get their products from their website. And this is their eye firming cream. Now this is lovely in the fridge, as you can well imagine, it's lovely in cooling. It contains aloe vera and the Himalayan water, which is really rich in minerals, calcium, potassium, magnesium, which are very, very important for our skin, but actually not that well talked about. Um, obviously you can find it and um, there is lots and lots of information about why these minerals are so good for our skin. Um, but I've been using it on my lips, and as you know, I'm always kind of battling the chapped lip. I've done quite well this season. Again, this is a gel. I haven't been using it on my eyes because my eyes are drier. I have to use something that's really, really, really hydrating on my eyes, but I've been using it on my lips. So I put that on before I put any lip treatment on, and then I let that settle in, and then I put the balm over the top. And I don't know why, it has got contains hyaluronic and aloe vera, but I obviously use the um, organic beauty one as well it's really made a difference there is only one other change that I have made and I don't know whether we talked about this last year is toothpaste I've really 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 made sure that I clean my teeth rinse really well on my lips which sounds obvious I mean it sounds obvious obviously but sometimes you might just do it quickly mindlessly without thinking about it and then I've put my night treatment on and I've put it all over my lips as I have done in the morning I think that's made a really big difference I think the sulfates in the toothpaste um, really dry out your lip. I need to use a non uh, a sulfate free SLS free tooth toothpaste I think as well. I haven't got around to that. I will let you know if I do though. So that's really really lovely. Now obviously using my moisturizers and SPFs I'm not going to go through everything with you um, but my little top coat um, has been again actually LMS. I got a couple of things and um, some Christmas stockings um, and this was the rose facial as you know I love rose I love 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 rose um, so at night when I put my retinol on and it still feels tight and dehydrated because of the dry air because of the central heating because probably too many things with sparkles in 
um, too much fun. Um, I've just been really parched and dehydrated. We've been doing lots of lovely walks as well. So um, over my base, over my foundation or whichever, or over my skincare, whichever I'm, or whatever part of the day I'm at, I've been um, applying the oil. Now the thing is with oil, it always has to be a top coat. It can't be something that, oh, that feels so nice, that you put on and then you put an active ingredient on top because it will just prevent the active ingredient actually doing anything good to your skin. Um, so it has to be a top coat. And if you use too much oil, you might find that your skin starts to get a bit lazy and it starts to feel a little bit tight. So oil is one of those things that you need to use um, sparingly as and when you need it and maybe as a protectant or just as a little treat now and again because otherwise it's just like anything. You do one thing to solve one thing and then something else happens but just be easy on the oils. Um, right, just for a quick lovely make I'm going to go straight in with my Lander Lips. Now I'm not sure whether this is new or not, you may be able to tell me but Lano Lips has always been in the squeezy tube and now um, it's in a Lano stick which I really prefer. I mean it's the height of laziness isn't it? I can't bother to take it off and squeeze it. It's just really nice in this balm. So I'm just going to balm up my lips first. Just with the uh, Lano Lips all the way around, all the way over my lips and let that settle in. Very sadly Bourgeois is about to leave the UK. Um, I love Bourgeois and this is an amazing foundation which I have used many times in my films. I'm very, very sad about this, um, but unfortunately that is what's happening. Health Mix Foundation and this is shade... Um, what shade am I in this? No, that's the... I'll come back to you on that and I'll put it in the box. Now I'm just going to do a really light coat of this. I'm going to put it under my eyes. I don't want too much makeup on, I really don't. I just want a nice little light amount of coverage on my skin and around my eyes. I've already put a little bit of mascara and um, brow on because, um, well, I just felt a bit, <laughs> felt a bit flat. Um, so I just want to use this into the skin that I've put the oil in and the hyaluronic. I just don't want too much. When my skin is dry, I just kind of want to use something that's just going to give me a little bit of a sheen. And the Healthy Mix has got a serum in, and if you can get it in the UK, I'd stock up on this foundation. It's probably one of the best um, uh, high street foundations there are. Matt's about to do some amazing ones as well. But the Healthy Mix one has been a popular choice of foundation for many people for a long time. So it's really, really sad that that is now leaving the UK. Great, I'm not going to use any powder. You see the difference, when, well you probably can't see it because the light's a little bit flat. Might open up my shutters a bit more actually. The sun keeps coming in now as you can see and it was just playing havoc. No. Okay, let's just put that there. I don't want to block out any sunshine, let's face it. See how well that glides on? Really effortlessly. I'm not even going to use the remains on my hand. So one little tip. Um, is to keep everything light, fresh and hydrated, I think, for January. Clean it up. I haven't really been bothering with that many eyeshadows. I've got a couple of sticks that I might show you in a minute. Um, but I love these, I know, this is another one of the Bare Minerals one. This is Pink pink Sky, um, Bounce and Blur. I've pretty much used every single colour um, from these because they are so easy to wear. And this is the shade that we all want our complexions to be. And I'm placing this right at the front of my face here. Not so much along my cheekbone, just at the front. And it's gonna put a little hit on my lip there. That's too cold, my lip. I'll go in with a balm. Sometimes it works. And that took me back to the 80s. So we'll, uh, we'll pull it back. <laughs> Keep it in the 21st century now. So that's what I love on my cheeks. And sometimes my husband says, do you not think you've gone a bit overboard? I'm like, no, oh, I like it. Makes me feel, makes me feel healthy. Um, yeah, I don't care. And what I do love is that it makes my eyes ding and my teeth look a little bit brighter. On that brightness level, um, the Max Factor Cajole Liner, again, such a great product for the price and it's super, super soft. I'm just going to take that on the inside of my eye here. Now, be careful not to get it onto the roots because it's so soft, it deposits the colour straight away. Look at the difference. It's such a lovely way to brighten your eye. And it's not white, it's cream. It's just off-white. 
and that is once that settles in that just gives a great lift to the freshness of my eye so that is an absolute staple in my makeup kit um, let's use um, what should we use? So a little bit of brightness. We'll go for a bit of By Terry and a bit of Ela. These are two sticks. I want to keep this look really simple and just sort of talking to you about adding brightness and freshness to your makeup. So by using the Kajal pencil and then just using a little bit, I want to put that inside my eye and create an eye bogey, do I? I just want to make it look fresh. So this is a very beautiful pale gold. You don't want to go orangey gold, no. You're wanting to add light and freshness to that area. So maybe just push it in and then take a cotton bud and just soften the edges. So it just adds a little bit of freshness because that's where we're so dark. So it's adding the light where we are normally quite dark. And just because um, I'm quite sockety, this is an Ilia, Ilia slightly metallic um, eyeshadow pencil, which I can put just here. in my socket and just smudge it into the outer corner there. And on the other side, this just makes me feel like my eyes are a bit more wide open. It settles in very easy, it smudges perfectly. And the beauty is, once you've popped it on, you don't need a brush, you just need a little smudgy finger and the softness of that is all I need and just make sure that's all blended in push those colors together so to me that's clean that's fresh that's bright that is all I want to deal with quite frankly now Max Factor's Color Elixir Balm quite similar to Clarins and um, the Starlight Coral is again a beautiful pinky shade um, so rather than having that sort of pale pink let's go so it's just a little bit more juicy so that matches the pink on my Cheeks, it is a little bit warmer. Shearer. Oh, and it sits really well on top of that uh, Lena lips, by the way. Now I'm just going to use the doe foot to add the shape to my lips and take that round. And it's those colours, it's those kind of lovely pinky, fresh colours that kind of make a difference and put a spring in your step where maybe you just don't have a spring in your step. Take it easy on yourselves, get through January, and spring is soon to come. Lots more videos, lots more information over the next few weeks, and uh, yeah, look forward to chatting to you below. Bye for now.